Hello, and let's do this. We're playing a game. We're playing a game that Nate found and was like, well, you should play this. I know yes. next to nothing about it other than what's on the Steam page, which is very, very blurry screenshots. Yeah. So my first question is, is there... Oh, there is an audio. It's just very weird. Options? No. Options? No. Oh, maybe. What Come are you on. trying to find? I, I, I want this to not, not suck! I need 1920... 1920 by 1080. At uh, 144. Full screen. You can turn off the CRT filter if it looks bad to you. It's fine enough. I don't care. Uh, all right. Do yeah, we do the mailbox back. or the telecommunications? The, the television commercial first. All right. Give let's us some back, give us give us some backstory. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards, such as house fires. Yeah, that happens commonly. Flooding, not as common, but still happens. Black mold, constant pain in my ass. Metamorphosis, slightly rarer. Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe today. So, which of you is going to call that number now? We're not. We, we're the people on the other end of that number. That's the game. Yes, but one of you should call it in real life. No, I'm not doing that. Go to the mailbox. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so what does corporate have to say? Uh, welcome to the home safety hotline family. Fuck you. We are pleased... <laughs> <laughs> We're pleased to have you aboard as our brand new home safety hotline responder slash role. Lovely. That's, Your supervisor's name is Carl Regina. That's, that's Carol. Carl? You Carol, Carl, Carl, all the same. Fine, she's Regina now. Just because it sounds a lot like something else. Carl, Carol, how, Regina. I mean, that is how the capital of, uh, what is it, Winnipeg is spelled? Fuck, I don't know. Uh, she'll be calling you today to, direct, to brief you on your duties, and we'll be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a rem reminder, responders with a 90% Accuracy rate will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Boy, I went to college and paid an ungodly amount of money to get out of this type of work environment. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Subject line, video file on desktop. Attention call team, due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these. They will be cleaned up in due time. So we fucked up already and have watched something we shouldn't watch. No, it's fine. It's fine. All right, click on the hotline. Let's get started. Uh, we're, we're, we're supposed to be called by someone. No, you have to go to the hotline for that. The top, the top option, home safety hotline. But they said they would call us. Why, why, why should we go to them? That, that's how you open the call logs. That's, that's how you start the day. Gross, this is a Five Nights Like Freddy thing. It's days. not. It's not. It's not. It's got, it's got five days in it. It's Th there's no time limits. Don't worry. To be in shift, please clock in below. Fuck you. I don't like clocking in. Just so confrontational, holy shit. I spend a lot of time and most of my right, life getting so away from on, this shit. Under, under entries are the possible things that could be happening to people. They're gonna call us and we have to figure out which of these corresponds to their problem. Oh, fucking yay. So, let's go from the top. We have bed bugs, gross. Bees, gross. Black mold, gross. <laughs> Bitch, I was talking! <laughs> during your time here at HSH. Gross. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about 
about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you diagnose their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and will forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH. Wow, family. it doesn't even auto scroll. Your system sucks. Carpenter yeah, ants, cockroaches, gopher, housefly, house spider, mice and moles and re <laughs> mm. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. Oh, we're in Brooklyn. It like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Please uh, hold. Okay, so that's obviously uh, black mold. I'm guessing. I think it's cockroaches. Damn, black mold. Okay, you think it's cockroaches? Uh, cockroaches in this common household. Seen droppings appear similar to coffee grounds. Oh, you are correct. Yeah, I don't want to say that I've seen those in houses I've been in before, but I, I've I've seen them before. Lord knows I have. Yeah. It's awful. It is. And they also are... it doesn't seem like these are randomized. I watched a let's play of this this morning, um, so I know what some of them are. Although it doesn't confirm if you're right or not, till it doesn't actually tell you which ones are right and which ones are wrong. Lovely. But I'm 100% certain that one's right. Gross. Brain. What's your problem? Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace. Why are you sorry? But I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, oh, she's I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like eek, 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 you know? It, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old I'm guessing mice? By the eek, eek, eek. Well, I don't know. Some of them have audio logs, so take a look and let's see. Mice. That's kind of an eek 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 sound. Yeah, what do you think, Kevin? Mice are small with uh, Mice makes the most sense. Sure. I I'm down unless, for mice. Unless they got, got a bat. Uh, if they got That's a bat and they can. We have. And here's the thing if they do and they can hear it, they got real sensitive ears. That's true. Yay, hey, good job. That doesn't mean we're right, by the way. <gasps> Moles. Look, if we're wrong, we're wrong. Worst case scenario, we get a new job. I'm okay with that. Yeah, worst, worst, worst thing that could happen to us. Yeah, for sure. Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing to him, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell so me I know is, that so I the person I was watching got this wrong. one wrong, but it doesn't tell you what the right answer is. I think it's moles. Because uh, molehills mole look like giant piles of crap. Yeah, could be moles. What other do we have? A raccoon's unlikely. There's gophers. Could I mean, be a gophers. Is gophers. there like a dog? Is it just someone's dog just taking massive craps on his yard? <laughs> gophers. I don't think so. He's just got a vindictive neighbor. No. I don't we... think dogs is a thing we can choose. It's definitely no. not bad. It's none of the bugs. It's either gophers or it's uh, mole. I, I think moles because I remember what happened to my grandfather's house. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think moles. The burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mo ma mole mounds. Mounds, mounds. Mounds, moulds, moods, mods, amigos. Fuck it, we'll call it a mole. Mole, 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 mole. 
Have how, some guacamole. I, I never understood how much my uh, grandfather hated them, but I'm guessing you understand, Kevin, since they ruin lawns. Oh, they they will curb stomp your lawn into into oblivion. Yeah, yeah, but they're so adorable. Mm. Also, why does it say "warning: never kill a mole" in all capitals? What happens if you kill a mole? I don't. Maybe uh, unlimited a horde of moles come and maul your lawn. It's be a nightmare scenario for Kevin. Oh, it says they also have close relations to the ones beneath the soil, which can cause further danger if provoked. What does that mean? I, I don't know. Holy uh, shit, you're a character. Okay, my refrigerator was running. Ha, 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 I enjoyed the prank from the 1920s. I mean, this is supposed to feel like a 90s game, so I mean, I guess. That, that joke was ancient in the 90s. You're not wrong. Oh. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? Hey, Kevin. Actually. Kevin refuses to mow, it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Ah, uh, so his kid's sick and he's getting he's a bold. headache. I'm thinking that's bold. So, so I actually think it's ticks. And I'll tell you why I think it's ticks. Because okay. ticks live in large foliage and they make they give you fever-like symptoms. Oh, could be. Uh, fear of humans most commonly found in tall grass. Yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah. Illness such as fevers, headaches, and chills. You got ticks, my dude. I'm pretty sure it's ticks. Yep. Yeah. Um, but we don't have a mowing service. But we can forward you. We do know a guy. We do know a guy. Hey, accuracy 100%. One hundred percent. We are so smart. Well done, Kevin. You helped the most. What yep. the fuck did I do? MVP Kevin, that, he, he found that them all. That was the sarcasm. You didn't help at all. <clears throat> Shocker. Human DNA complete. I don't like the sound of that. Wait, wait, wait. Do we have anything new? <gasps> we do. We have two. That's why I went here. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quickly, freely trust me. Yeah, you definitely sound like you're trying to speak in reverse when you read that out. And it was actually a little bit uncomfortable <laughs> yay we got a discount on bug spray that's pretty good to receive your discount simply type the following to your checkout buzz off nice. wow hey you know we didn't check last time what's in the discord app nse discord nothing nothing is what about the what about the oh shit that's the real discord Okay, that just pops up trying to make me join the Discord in real life. Oh, okay. What, what? I don't, see, I see. Don't hit the reset weekly progress. No. That's um, actually, yeah, that'll reset. The, okay, yeah, no, I'm dumb. Go, go to the, the home the security online. Okay, we both can't be dumb. Well, look, look, we look, look. Yeah, I'm feeling yeah, left are. out here. All three of us are dumb. Yeah, he ain't wrong. We are all pretty stupid. <sighs> Clock in, yay. Clocking <laughs> in. Aren't you excited? Anything new? No, Not nothing yet. new. Th there will be, there will be. Will there we be? Have, we haven't heard from our supervisor yet. She's gonna call us every morning. Are you sure There's about that? Pretty sure. Like the phone calls at five nights? So the game, the game drum played this today, although they didn't get very far because Aaron's really dumb. He got fired on like the third day. 
Uh, that's fine. He can be dumb as long as he's funny. That's all that matters. It was quite funny. Incoming call! Hello. It's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please be aware that this information is confidential. Can't we just have it all at once? Apparently it's confidential. If they can trust us first. Okay. Yeah, we got stair slug. What the shit? It's a dog sized slug. Uh, in stairwells and basements, danger. They can be beneficial to a household and they, f and they feed on other pests like mice and hobs. Uh, but they're slimy and leave a residue that's a pain to clean, okay? Gross. Sorry, I'm a... Gross. Uh, Gross. Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to I'm just imagining that you are saying this while you're on the line with them. I think there's something yes. seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Okay. Please hold it. Okay, uh, so sneezing. Let's look for something that causes sneezing. Well, wait, what, what, let's, uh, a pipe hob. Pipe hobs are a subspecies of hob known for making home the side tube-like structures such as pipes. They bear no false face, and, uh, okay. What about pipe growth? It's a type of fungus known for making home inside damp tube. That's disgusting. Pipe growth yeah, will is. attempt to eat anything that comes into their domain. Dangerous. Uh, house fire. That's pretty obvious. Frozen pipes, probably not our issue. Fracture hob. Fracture hobs are known to cause cracks in the foundations and walls. Interesting, not what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah. A false, false beat. beat. False beat are creatures with a beat-like appearance known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves as vegetables. False beats are harmless unless eaten by human, at which point they root in the human stomach, feeding off its nutrition for a lifetime. Oh, okay, that's fine. Not causing sneezing. A desk hob. Desk hob or knob. They live in desks. Pretty obvious. Uh, they don't seem dangerous. And we got the common hob. Uh, also not dangerous. So I don't care. It's probably not calling it. A cellar growth. A species known to grow in dark, damp environments such as cellars. Okay. Do you cause sneezing? Oh, you I do think not. This is black mold. Probably. It's probably not carbon. Bed teeth. Bed teeth are fungus grown from small cone like shapes on the underside of bed sheets. Gross. Oh, look, bats are impossible. But I agree, it's probably mold causing him to sneeze. I don't see anything else that causes respiratory issues. Yeah. Uh, where the fuck was the Unless mold? he's allergic to bats. <laughs> it's possible, but I'm gonna go with the black mold. Yeah, it says allergic reactions or breathing problems. So I think uh, it's a fuck up bit. It's, there we go. Black mold. Also, that guy kind of looks like um, the guy from Brooklyn Nine Nine, but wearing glasses. If you say so. And that looks like a B. Oh, that is a B. It's that one B, two B, three B. Three B is down the hallway on the right. We don't have bees where I live. Do you know do. if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like maybe to disguise the robbery. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. Ah, I've talked with people the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Dear Lord, I wish this was real. Please. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is definitely one of the messed up ones. It's the hob. The common hob. Yeah. Yeah, so it's Elf. Um, common hobs, they are small, who know creatures, they have no false face, they're known for to eat dust, dirt, and sticky substances, cleaning them in the process. They can only come at night, so it's definitely the common hob. Cause yeah, I, I, I would agree. Also, look how cute he is. Yeah, I would absolutely have a host of hobs living in my house. 
I would love to have a host of Hobbs living in my house. There's an audio sample from the hob. What does it sound like? I can't tell oh, you. Well, never mind. What the fuck? They sound horrifying. Like yeah, yeah, I would not really like do. that. Considering, <laughs> okay. considering I don't think how it's helpful they are. I don't think yeah, it's it does say that they can metamorphosis. <laughs> I don't care. It's still worth it. I will happily have it. Well, well I don't know what metamorphosis means. I don't care. I'm guessing mice. Something Maybe? chewing chewing on wood and crawling inside of walls, inside of walls. And some mice does seem probable. Uh, rodents on uh, mice and states to report gnar marks, ground droppings, and sounds of speaking. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely putting that in because super common. Do you concur with mice? Yeah, mice makes the most sense. Yeah, it's a moose. Itty bitty moose. Could be termites. You wouldn't hear them walking in the walls, though. I don't know. I guess it depends how many you have. I guess it's possible. It just seems eh, unlikely. Yeah, whatever. I've certainly got the other ones right. So even if this one's wrong, who cares? Oh, okay, it's the same settings. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, oh, that hey, is I'm talking about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. It sounds like scratching or something. Okay. Quiet, so definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've set out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or drop things or whatever. Okay. So, so this is oh. definitely some kind of thing in the wall. Can we see what termites does? I want to see what it says for termites. A termit. <laughs> Termites, small insects known for consuming and decaying plant material, particularly wood. Homeowners will, will often report peeling paint, holes in the drywall, or squeaky floorboards. Nothing to do with what we're doing. No, okay, go up to the top. I think there was carpenter ants as well. Uh, there is. Carpenter yeah, ants. Carpenter ants. Oh, fest with these. Yeah. Faint rustling sounds coming in as the walls build their nests. Could be carpenter ants. Put it as a possibility and see what else it could be. Uh, fungal grow in the dark, damp environments. Does the sound of dripping or stretching new? It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. Definitely not a false beat. No. Um, walls and generally not wider locks. Probably not. It's probably not a gopher. <laughs> the ball gophers. Still could technically be a mouse, but weird that they'd be back-to-back -back mice. I, I think it's carpenter ants. I have no real reason to choose one or the other, so I'm down to go for the carpenter ant. Well, I can tell you for sure that it's not fracture hobs, because that's what they get stun game from. Well... I wouldn't think it was that anyways. Yeah, I, I didn't really understand that guess, but it was funny. I, it, it was a guess. That was also a very cute mouse. It's a mouse. They're all mildly cute yet terrifying. This is true. I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. <laughs> I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers. Skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! Uh, 
Wait, what? what? So I think this is a desk hob. Uh, yeah, what kind of person just assumes that his, like, rival from work is going to his house and organizing his papers? They have a desk, the structure's there. They regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. They're similar to yeah, other hobs. So, I'm yeah. pretty sure you're correct. I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's got a desk hob who's, uh, doing stuff. Whose name could be Bob? We don't know. Bob the Hob is possible. <laughs> Bob the Hob is possible, and even if it's not, just call it Bob. Yeah, it's a hob. It doesn't. Not? It ain't got an opinion. It's just a hob. It's a it's a cute little hob. You can hobnob with the hobs. <coughs> hey, and we are one hundred percent accurate. So it was mice. It was Look mice and this. carpenter ants. We're very good at our job. Yeah, apparently so far. It hasn't gotten too complicated died. yet. Yeah, later on, apparently, the um, options get corrupted, so you have to try to remember what they're like. Oh, well, we're fucked for that. <laughs> Look, there's another video. Let's see it. Uh, you're okay. telling me we should ignore the instructions from head office and watch the video? Yes. We're at 100%. What are they going to do? Fire us? Yes. Yes. You're nah. never irreplaceable to a business. Remember that. They will replace you in an hour. They don't care about you. We are at 284,000. That hurts me on a on a spiritual level. 84,000? I would love to buy that. One bed, two bathroom, 1,000? Yeah, not, times that by a lot. Not in today's market, that's for sure. Times that by, what, 100? Pretty close to 1,000. Uh, close to 100. Ooh, four bed, five bath, $120,000. Jeez Louise, I could buy that easily. I would have had to have quit my job to buy that. A civil authority has issued a missions person alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Berry County. D a Berry County? Really? That's a lot of counties. Also, it's Tina Avenue. Authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. I feel like we should be riding quite this down. Approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately 10 25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your local. So, a six foot tall dude wearing a bush kidnapped a child. Dude, why is that house on. so cheap? What the fuck? All the houses have been stupid cheap. Okay, no, that one was. Yeah, but that, that one, one was. was like, okay. <laughs> I, I could still buy that house. You're right, I, I, I could buy that house. Yeah, it's covered in moss. I'd That's still buy fine. that house. <laughs> you, it's super easy to knock, knock moss off. Super easy. Yeah, I would, I would also buy that. Just hire Kevin. A lot of what? It's. Say, give your access to me, Infer. Didn't they? I warned you if you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found you yet. It's safe here. Okay. Attention, call team. Our network team is migrating your backend service over to a new hosting provider this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying inf information entries carefully while you still have access to the network goes down while you're on the phone with a client. You will still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of network status. Ah, oh boy, you use horseshoes. <laughs> Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for used horseshoes. Our stock of used horseshoes are as reliable as they are rusty. 90% of our supply is verifiably forged from real iron. Supplies run out quickly, so stock up while you can. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. 
a great deal for sure. <laughs> Keep up the great work, employee. Fuck off. Kill yourself. Whoa. Whoa. For sure. For Holy sure. Shit. You didn't add, like, the respectfully, of course. Come on, No, man. that was not the second You, 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 you got to say in Minecraft so we don't get in trouble. You oh, say, okay, kill sure. yourself in Minecraft. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, I'm talking to a, an ad that doesn't actually live. You uh, still had to say up. in Minecraft. Okay, in Minecraft. Minecraft my Mine ass. Mine straight down. Mine straight down in Minecraft. A colon craft? No, you know when you mine straight down in Minecraft and fall in lava? Bum. So far, my favorite thing has been the, the, uh, the, the coupons. The coupons? Yes. The coupons are great. To be in shift, like the prank calls? Talking. They're... bad. So we have to somehow read all of these before we, like, lose it's, them. It's not happening. We're gonna make educate, educated guesses, and we're gonna fail. And that's okay. But if, but if you don't look at them, how are we gonna make educated guesses? I don't know what My a stair time slug shine, does. Boys. We already looked at the stair slug. They exist in the stairs, and they're actually good for it. They leave a slimy residue. It would say new if I didn't click on it. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. We've updated your Yay, more permissions, bitch. Fuck you. New permissions. So we got the, the tea sprite. Okay. Tea sprites are subspecies of sprite known to feed off tea and leaf residue. Homeowners infested with tea sprites. Ha report leaf like droppings and the sounds of fluttering. Interesting. Uh, tea oh, sprites are not directly dangerous, <laughs> but they're known to spread various deadly diseases. Gross. What's what's a toilet hub? Oh, no. Toilet hubs are subspecies of hub. Oh, come on, man. Okay, so I know what that is, but let's finish the toilet hob first. Well, how about let's just read everything first, and then we can tell them it's the slug. Yeah. Uh, they bear false faces and have two separate clumps of wispy hair on each side of their head. Like most hobs, they tend to clean their homes when they are active at night. Keeping the toilets, they have it nearly spotless. Boy, do I wish I had a toilet hob too. Toilet hobs are not dangerous on their own, but they... But their physical presence within the toilet they inhabit may result in plumbing problems over time, such as leaks and clogs. Like any hob, they also are capable of metamorphizing. Okay, so okay. let's just remove them. Okay. Unicorn fungi. That's adorable. Unicorn <laughs> fungi are a rare horn-shaped fungus that are known to grow on the heads of furry mammals and household pets. They often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil... Home owners often report their pets furiously digging inside their home. Gross. Now, they're not directly harmful to humans. They often lead to household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, and waking other things up beneath the soil. Not not great. No. And we got the whistling fungi. Uh, that whistling looks like fun honeycombs. That just looks tryptophobia-ish. Uh, Mushroom-like gross that with many small holes in the caps that frequently go through drywall crap. Homeowners often report a distant whistling sound. That makes sense. Warning, if you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Whistling fungi are rarely dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundational problems. If they sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Do not return for any other reason. Otherwise, they can just be normally killed. 
What is a wine sprite? Wine sprite are a species of sprite known for consuming wine. You know, I should have guessed by the name. So I'm guessing you're a wine sprite by that definition. I have not. I don't actually like wine, so no, I am not. He's a beer you, sprite. You do. You do have a long proboscis. Ah, uh, we're not going to talk about my long proboscis. Homo it's not in polite company, eh? Broken glasses? It's not polite company, it's the Twitch I'm worried about. Uh, danger, wine sprites are not directly to human? Uh, that's fine. You do know that proboscis means, like, nose, right? It means something along. Uh, wood secretions. Wood secretions are a pink, viscous substance that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. It's known to drip from wooden materials, such as furniture walls, causing Ugh. sticky pooling buildups. Gross. Well, secretions can be deadly to humans. They can be deadly to humans, causing rapid translation of flesh. Ew. Keep animals and human away from them um, all close. Uh, foul will be interpreted as a sweet candy like smell. Ew. Is there new stuff at the top? Probably. Oh, yeah, we got the mirror nymph. Oh, yeah, mirror nymph. Don't mirror. like that. There are subspecies of nymph known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. They are generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners affected by mirror nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. All right. Okay. All right. We finally got something kind of interesting. Danger. Mirror nymph. Although a nuisance are not direct danger to humans. Boring. That's pretty dangerous. Memory wisp. No, due to clerical error, the audio sample provided is incorrect. The issue will be... Weird. Didn't like uh, that. Memory wisps are invisible and odorless household wisps known for removing the memories of the home and its homeowners. Homeowners infested by memories of wisps, pictures, and the ability to remember the faces of loved ones. That's a bastard of one. They're not... Yeah. Okay, so not, they don't kill you, but they fuck your brain. As someone who can't remember the names of household appliances... Fuck you, memory wisps. <laughs> Alright, lamp sprites. They're sprites that live in lamps. Uh, Fair enough. They are known for causing the lamps they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter. Gross. That means they can cause fires. Yep. False rose bush. That uh, fucking's got feet. It does, in fact, have feet. With ankles that weird me out. False rose bushes are large plant like creature that most commonly take on the appearance of red rose bush. Duh, that's the oh, name. In place of words, this creature has missing. two small humanoid feet that used to chase down prey. Uh, homeowners with falls will sometimes report missing pets or children. Yes, you are correct. Uh, okay. Pose incredible danger to homeowners with children or pets, as their diets consist of small mammals. They are known to be able to feast... Oh, no. To uh, fast and wait a little. They are known to be fast and efficient hunters. Homeowners without children or pets face a reduced risk as they cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. Well, that kid's fucking dead. Yeah, he, he got, got eaten. eaten. That's kind of awful. The false artifact are seemingly human-designed objects that can manifest and suddenly inside a home. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds that can off that can usually only be heard by very young human children or small animals. Great, another child eater. Homeowners with false artif artifacts often report out of place objects or missing children or pets. False artifacts, while not a direct th a threat to adult humans, can pose significant risk to small children and animals. <coughs> Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. Once encased, no noise made by the prey can be heard, while digestion can take upwards of several years to complete. Starvation can be a more pressing concern. That one's way more hardcore uh, than the Rosa. Yeah, you're not wrong. One can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. Oh, fuck! So there's no help in them once you're in there. Jeez. Nice. The fucking wheeze. That's brutal. You like, can't just break damn. it. Damn. can just smash it open. Not. Evidently not. 
Fuck, that's brutal. I love it. I love a that. I like a bogger. <gasps> Do you put your, your name in the goblet of fire? What do bogger sound like? Oh, okay, so this is just a pissed off, uh, Bob. Boggart is the general term for metamorphized hob. Okay, so angry hobs. They are large, hairy humanoids between six to seven feet tall. Kind of large. And, and bear... Oh, that's an annoying noise. Is that the right bear? Huh? The word bear there, B... E A R. Is that the right bear? That that makes me think of the wrong bear. Yeah, that's the right bear. Okay, I'm just. It's wrong not that. the one where you bear your clothes and you are now naked. But, but I, it is the correct bear. Is for it bearing okay? Witness. Um, I don't know. If my my brain was like, no, that's that that's the animal bear. Fairly yeah, convincing I hate false it. faces. It is also the animal bear. The English language, everybody. Oh, they're the same. I did not realize. They are known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, electrical outfit. Uh, out, out hitches. They also frequently observe their targets while they sleep. Creepy. Bogarts are extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious nightly household activities, which can often cause injury or death. They react very violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel in staying hidden. Interesting. So all those times the fire alarm went off at your building was because of Bogarts, right? I am okay with that. Give, give me this more bogarts. This is why you're not allowed to have pops. But I still Wait, want so them. So you think this is what? The slug? This is the stair slug. Uh, because it's something in his basement. It's huge. And it's just staying in the flat. Where it's like, they're dog size. It's said, bigger than my dog. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I, okay. All right. Yeah. And they occupy stairwells and basements. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This is the stair slug. I want to stay. Last like twenty minutes, probably freaking out. Yeah, I would be. Uh, excuse uh, me, sir. I just have to look this up. One moment. Don't panic. There's a monster uh, my stairs. Uh, there, there's a five foot long slug in your stairs. Uh, do not attempt to apply assault. The best part is they said that they only tell them the part they need without any explanations. They don't say it's a stair slug. They say throw salt down the stairs. Uh -huh. I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could oh, mean. I know what that is. It it's the faucet hob. Or the pipe hob. Oh. It doesn't uh, make the nasty sound and it smells bad. I don't think hobs smell bad. Please hold. If we go to pipe hob. Pipe hobs. Do, 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 do. No, commonly a marriage from those who do Pipe hobs are not a direct threat. Their physical presence can cause leaks or clogs or provoke. Oh, go to, go to pipe growth. Pipe growth? Pipe growth are fungus, tube legs. They're there for clog pipes and definitely pipe growths are known to be loud, bubbling, digestion noises. No, so that's not it either. Well, he does say it's making gross noises. Uh, coming. Hearing weird noises from the bathroom faucet. I'm not sure what it could be. It's just well, weird noises. Let's see if we can find anything that makes it bad. Uh, smell. Check, uh, yeah. check toilet hob. Uh, toilet hob? No, they, they clean it up, so it's not going to be a bad smell. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm with Kevin. I think it's the... The pipe, pipe growth? growth. Um, let me just double check. There's nothing else I think it could be. I'm down to go with the pipe growth. Is the pipe growth? Wait, is there anything else? I oh, already okay. hit submit. Okay, all right, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I, I just remembered that it's not pipe growth because that's what they guessed that came from, and it was wrong. You bitch! <laughs> you could have cheated for us and you didn't! I didn't remember! I forgot! I forgot! I forgot! Da -da -da. We already talked about how stupid I am. I don't know what it could be, though. I I, I think it's the pipe hob. Still. But they don't stink or make noise. Answer. 
My wife. My wife. I can't. Her face. Oh, it's memory loss. Well, considering it's just the wife's face and not the pictures and stuff, I think it's the memory wisp. Uh, I would concur. Yeah. Man, memory wisp sounds so weird. Well, remember it says it's the wrong sound. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Somehow, I forgot that. Yeah. My wife! My wife! I'll move that on their own. Oh, that's that's gross. So you just shit out of luck once they steal all the memories. Man. There are some brutal ones in here, but most of them are pretty uh pretty tame still. Yeah. No calls, eh? Well I guess we'll just oh okay. I don't wanna answer. I don't wanna Oh, uh, we're not gonna get our coupon. No, you have failed us. But I tried it and uh, it didn't fix the faucet. I'm calling a plumber. Thanks a lot for wasting my time. Have you called the helpline and said, I'm not sure what it is. Here's some vague information. Oh, I'm sorry I was wrong based off of your vague information. Nate, you have failed oh, us. You have failed us for the last time. That's rude. Hey, yeah, name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. I have okay. never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just we have a pest control team? Sticks and pebbles. So I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out my drawer here. I'm gonna grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. <laughs> no, what's it gonna I'm gonna do? grab you by the goober. What's gonna do to make this right? <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay. That was two weirdos back to back. Well, one of them is because we failed the quest. Uh, the other one is, yeah, he he was a goober. Or no, grab her by a yeah, goober. Yeah, we suck. One of us even cheated, and we still failed it. Uh, hi. I, uh, have no idea what's happening. My oh, teeth are growing bed teeth. Sharp things on them, and my legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower, like, once a week for my Ew. Maybe that's it? That is disgusting. Fucking every day, bitch. Minimum once, yeah. if not twice. Yeah. Yeah. Network error. That's Ooh. fine. We already know that it's bed teeth. Yeah, for sure. Thankfully, yes, that one is a rather easy one. Yeah. Oh, but now we're fucked going forward. That's why we huh. read them first. Yep. Look, I've already forgotten them all. them all. Hello? No, no, it's for good. this number to ask about my... Problem. Mm -hmm. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look great near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling? I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes okay. to shove his claws at the couch. But he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. So, okay, so wait, peeling wallpaper, oh. wasn't that termites? Or do uh, you think it's the fracture hob? It could be either the fracture hob or the, the termites. Now, here's the thing. Uh, da, 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 there, there's cracks and peeling. Yeah, yeah. Let's go go see what it says for termites if we can look at it. Uh, we cannot. Oh, we can. Yeah. No, termites are fine. Uh, no, 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 no. Homeowners infested with peeling paint, small holes, or squeakly floorboards. Not cracks. So I think this one would be a crack head. Crack hob. Crack head. Yeah, crack <laughs> head. Crack head, eh? 
Uh, fracture hob. Fracture hob. Fracture, fracture hob. Crack hob. Fracture hob. Let's look, uh, let's look at it. Uh, fracture hobs are known as cause small cracks and fractures in the walls. They never physically small enough the hobs. Yada yada. Normal transformation. So, is it a fracture hob or is it the termite? What do you think? Termites can cause oh, cracks, right? It doesn't say cracks, though. It says holes. Yeah, it only says uh, holes in our peeling and paint. And peeling paint. Not cracks. I, That's I, I, I think fracture hob seems more likely. Is there anything else that could be? Uh, not you. It's not going to be you. Not you. Not you. Not you or you or no, you. No, I shouldn't say anything about a whistling noise. Not you. No. No, 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 no. Well, maybe. No, 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 no. Nope, it's one of those two. Yeah, nah, I'm going for Fracture Hob. I think it's Fracture Hob. Just based off of the keywording? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just think it's her cat digging up the wall and she's a liar, personally. Yeah, yeah, probably. As someone who used to own cats. Yeah. Come on. I think you're probably right. Off we go. Yeah, is, is someone going to call or? Apparently all is right in the world. No one needs our help. We're the best there <laughs> is. Lies. We're the best. Hooray! True. I wasn't here last week. Coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream. What kind of joke is that? It's been uh, a week now that I've been dealing with this racket. No thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk uh, to your manager and tell them they owe okay. me big time. So. I'm pretty sure it's a bog because he didn't put the cream out, so the hob is mad. Yeah, that's what I think as well. Because if we go to boggers, power outages, uh, causing accidents, the flood, and electrical outages. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Because I, yeah, I actually I'm, remember I'm, this guy. He was one of the guys we did on Monday, and it was the common hob. And uh, yeah, you need to leave out a bowl of cream or milk at night. So it's a bogus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think bogus. Uh, I think we're gonna get a call from him tomorrow saying that he didn't and he's dying or something like that. Oh yeah. Because a bogus is like murdering him. Because uh, once you're aware of its presence, simply vacate. Just leave. Wow. I what, don't. Sixty-six point six 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 six. We failed a lot today. That means we got like two wrong. Or three. Or it's four or five or six or seven. No, we couldn't. Have, there wasn't that many. We have failed so much. Well, science well, mysteries. We'll find out. We know one of the ones we got wrong. Doesn't help us. We still got it wrong. I mean, yeah. Maybe that's the only one we got wrong. Science mysteries. Yeah, that probably is the only one we got wrong. There was only like six colors. The mystery of mice. 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 One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. They're not From our friend. The black to the shelves of our pet stores. Mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. Ooh, the green glow in his eyes is creepy. Humans. Mice may even okay. be evolving alongside us as well. Probably. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. I don't think that's right. And this oh, is mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, oh. and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Pitch black with green, Mice gross. Have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, Modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And it's not about science, it's about folds. Mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. 
With talking the mice? modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Please just be a bunch of squeaking. Yeah. Okay. Is this a wonder of Can I say, I've never realized how bad my short attention span is until I thought to myself, this video is too long, speed it up, please. Nate! <laughs> you need to work on your attention span. Yeah, this video about mice is moving too slow for me. Can we pick it up a little bit? Come on. We're missing uh, the best part because of you, Nate! Look, Kevin also thought it was pipe growth. Two out of three. I blame I'm you. sorry, I'm dealing with uh, emails right now. That's so am I. Okay. Hello, home safety hotline family. Not a family, never a family. They're a business. They don't want you. They won't protect you. Fuck them. We're excited to introduce all of you to our new office pet, Whiskers. Whiskers is loyal friendly and as serious about pest control as we are please give whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wandering by your desk no please refrain from picking up or feeding whiskers she is still getting to know everyone at the office and has scheduled feeding times sincerely whiskers hsh, like HSH corporate care. he looks like he could not care less about us like he hates us he's a cat yes yeah fair if you're not his cho chosen human you don't matter. Right, let's see. Whiskers. I'm pretty sure we only got one wrong so far. I think we're doing all right. I think it's all your fault. Uh, it, 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 let's not be a, assigning blame, okay? Well, one of us cheated and still failed, and the other one did it. I did okay. cheat. Okay. How I about, didn't know about the how game. How about instead of... um. The blame game, we can we, we can roll for blame instead. Do you want to roll for blame? Yeah, we should I roll do, for yeah, blame. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, hold on one sec, one sec. The viewers can't see it, but maybe they can hear it. Yeah, I heard that. All right, I rolled a four. Okay. That so sounds... is, is that how much blame I get? Four? Yeah, you, you four get four twentieths. Okay. Means the rest goes to Nate. No, no. We're rolling for all three of us. Roll for Will. I don't... Okay. Hello. Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. Gross. So far, but she did. Accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. She's absolutely one of the like elder beings. Yeah, you can't see, but she's all tentacles below that, like, frame. Look, they're the only ones that use the, so oh, yeah. Before you, before you hit close, what did he get for blame? Kevin, what'd you roll for me? Kevin? Did he, did he crit fail and die? He rolled so hard it bounced off the desk, hit him in the face, and knocked him out cold. Was he taken out by the boggers? He was taken out by something. Ooh, an attic gnome. Attic gnome. Gnome. Attic gnomes are a subspecies oh, of gnome. Oh no, the power went out in this house. What? No, it, it actually is a bogger. Get out of there, Kevin. Run, Kevin, run. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug. Just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away. And I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water. Because... Fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here. Oh, it's the, uh, the false radish thing. thing. Yep, yep, it is. Well, we should definitely read the new ones before we go on. Yes, we will have to continue reading beforehand. Man, you know, perfect time for Kevin to lose some damn uh, power. Yeah, he says he'll be right back, though. Attic Gnome, a sp subspecies of Gnome known to nest in attics and ceilings. Who would have guessed? Homeowners infested with Attic Gnomes will often report a knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceiling, or a surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation system. 
Attic gnomes or feeding habits are can often be a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pests such as large spiders in large quantities. Thank fuck. Give me an attic gnome, please. I can gnome. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which can send large quantities of dust particles into the air, causing uh, air quality issues in the household. They are very easily frightened. Would not be a problem in my house. You and me both. <laughs> to remove an attic gnome from the household, it is it's recommended to dust and clean your attics regularly to avoid giving it a source of food. Again, why would you want to? They're they're literally just a boon. All right, so because they can create a lot of dust. Cellar Grotto. Wait, what is the audio? Nice. Cellar grottos can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. Their creator often resides somewhere within the grotto subterranean lake. Alright, to read from the beginning, cellar grottos are large cave-like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars and, and basements. However, with cellar, uh, homeowners with cellar grottos will often report a bad smell coming up from the basement, higher humidity in the home, and a notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests. Danger! Cellar grottos can introduce a number of dangerous pests into the home and heighten the humidity they induce, causing warped floorboards, weakened foundations, and other hazards. Nice. Alright, sure, sure. The Fey Feasts. feasts. Oh, oh. The, never, never eat fairy food. That is the one thing you should never do. If a fairy offers you food, don't eat it. Feasts are mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. They are known to appear uh, near eating areas of the home. Danger. Feasts are not dangerous if consumed. But left untouched, they can provoke a more dangerous activity or else in continued presence can attract other household pests such as cockroaches and carpenter ants. She's so just leaving food out. Feasts are a sign of a hospitable presence such a, a, as such should be consumed immediately once survived. So this place... That, that, that flies against actual traditional folklore where you're never supposed to accept food from a fae. Yeah, no, this is completely wrong. You never accept food from a fae and you give them nothing. You definitely don't yeah. give them your name. Yeah, no, never. Not, not a chance. Maybe it's just they named it wrong. Oh, the fae oh, flew. No. Fae flu is a rare and dangerous disease commonly spread by household fae. Symptoms of fae flu include headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in the skin pores, and blooming. Fae flu is rarely fatal, but can have long-lasting effects on the lifetime health of an infected human. Long-term symptoms commonly include dizziness, fatigue, mono-colored mono vision, deliriousness, and endless dreams. There is no cure to fey flu. However, one can take precautions against it by keeping a clean, fey-free home. Okay. So you're supposed to eat their food, but they can poison you. Lovely. Yeah. Nice. A floor root. Floor roots are a tree like brown root that are known to grow upwards from the floor and wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their facility. Okay. Floor roots grow slow enough that, uh, that they serve very little danger to awake aware human adults. However, if not spotted quickly, they are known as a strangling hazard for human children pets while they asleep. Removal is a priority, okay? So that's not too bad. Oh, they go for human-shaped objects, though. That's not great. The Horde is an invisible, odorless, collective consciousness that is known for collection and storage of large quantity of common that, household that refuge. Like <laughs> oh, it's me to a disgusting degree. The Horde's tendency to store vast quantities of trash in the home make them prone... Uh, I lost my spot. One moment. Uh... 
The Lord uh, sends you to a storm. Of, spreading. Yeah, so spreading. Gross. Oh, once it is a hoe, the horde will continue to gather treasures in, indefinitely, and is will advise to sell one's home. In the, oh, it is advised to sell it in the first sense and just make it someone else's problem. <laughs> Fat. Gross. Laundry gnomes. They eat oh. your socks, don't they, those little bastards? Laundry gnomes are a subspecies of gnome with thick, fiber like fur. They can fold their bodies into various shapes and often resemble dirty towels. Weird. Homeowners with laundry gnomes often report loud rattling or banging sounds coming from the washing machine and missing socks. They have no threat, however, they break uh, washing machines and dryers. Do you know how hard it is to get socks? Not very. Amazon, my dude. Like? Night gnomes, gnomes are small, hairy creatures with a pointed head. They are known for their tendency to enter sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Owners afflicted by night gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sounds during late hours. Night, not nice. Not, but they're not dangerous, but those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing sleep masks to prevent being startled by their presence. Yeah, that, that, that could scare you into a heart attack. It'd be pretty uh, awful. Yeah, no kidding. We have the night horse. Hey! We thought the boggarts got you. Uh, it, it's okay. I managed to fend him off in a boxing match. Nice. Yeah, fair enough. When you said that the power went off, I, I just finished saying to Will that the boggarts got him, and then you're like, the power went down. I'm like, it's the boggarts got Kevin! You know, if I have uh, uh, Hobbs here, they're doing a shit job. Just, if you're here, Hob, I'm calling you out. Garbage. Dude, Revoking your hob lie. license. You you know toilet hobs can't deal with the shit that goes on in your house. <laughs> <laughs> so Night Whisper, a subspecies of the wisp formed of bright floating lights. I know I know we're, we're way past the bit, but I'm gonna continue rolling. Yeah. Alright, so Will Will gets a fifteen. Alright, so, so 15... that's a lot of light. Okay, and then Nathaniel. What does Nathaniel get? Fail, crit, fail, crit, fail, crit, fail, crit, Come fail, Come on, 20. <laughs> what is it? 17. Fuck! So it's Nate's fault. No! No, you're lying. You I'm not lying. lying. I'm not lying. You did not. The, the, the dice knows. But I like how it's also still mostly Will's fault. No. <laughs> 15 to 17. It's mostly your fault. Yeah, it's off by two. Kevin got a four. Doesn't matter. It's still mostly your fault. Your this slice of the pie is biggest, you bitch. This guy's, this guy's been on hold for 20 minutes. Uh, night Whisper, a subspecies of wisps, are forming bright floating lights. They are known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. They are not dangerous uh, unless listened to. Refrain from listening to their whispers and following their directions. Okay. Oh, apparently it's something by Valve. Valve's uh -huh. property are door-shaped openings to outdoor oh. locations other than the homeowners. Discovered most commonly in the basements or underground cellars, homeowners with Valve's property frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. Val's property can introduce a wide variety of dangerous elements okay. to a home and should be dealt with as soon as they are discovered. They can also cause drafts, introducing a heating problem into the home. Val does not own the copyright on every single portal that exists. Yeah. You can't say that word. You can't say that word. It's Val's property. You can't copyright common phrases. Seedlings are small, insectoid creatures about the size of an aphid. An aphid? An aphid? An aphid? An aphid? An They are known for burying outdoor plants or gardens, feeding off the roots of nearby weeds. Through their weed-like killing lives, though, they can make them useful in the garden. Seedlings are extremely tutorial and react violently to anything competing for their food source. Never remove a weed from a seedling-infested guardian garden. They are known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. Oh, lovely. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, 
Probably like a travel gnome. First you need water. Well, I could go for some water too. I actually, I found my old cup and I filled it full of ice and water. <laughs> for half a second, I was getting ready for, I, I filled it full of iced tea. I was going to say, thinking no. it was coffee. I, I actually stopped myself from drinking a root beer today because I was like, I've had a single root beer every day today. It's just water. Traveling gnomes are highly invasive subspecies of gnome that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travelers to introduce themselves to new households. They are found most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. Travel gnomes can affect the household in various ways. They will often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, uh, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems in the home if they continue to grow unbaited. Okay. I don't um, know what this one is. This is 100% the false radish. Right, this was the false radish. It has yeah. been so long, I had forgotten what it was. Yeah, we read a lot. The false, false beat. beat. Sorry, false beat. Good yeah, job! That guy was on hold. He was on hold for a long time. Just to be told it's a false beat and he's shit out of luck. No, there, there was something you could do. I don't remember what. Oh, it's Hello? her. I followed every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called Pest Control, and she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Good luck! <laughs> so I guess that one wasn't Fracture Hobbs? I think it was, and she's just fucked. Because she didn't actually listen. Oh, so you think that we're going to get a Bogart call later? Yes. Yeah, possible. The, well, they also cannot be removed once they nest. Yeah, I guess. I don't know if that's the case. I thought I think, I thought they only called back when we were wrong. They, they do that the day of, but I think if they the call a day later... Oh, I know what this is. Is it the night gnome? I believe it's the night gnome. Night gnome. Breathing. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's the breathing. Yeah. Every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. They can hardly sleep anymore. Put on hold, and it was the... Please hold. Uh... It's night gnome, right? Yeah, it turns uh, yeah, to sleeper. Uh, night gnomes will move on to other homes if they become bored or restless by you and have sleeping activities. There is no guarantee. However, they will become more bored if you find yourself sleeping. Okay. Yeah, so it's definitely the night gnome. Gnome. Yeah, yeah, pretty sure. The night gnome. Right, Kevin? Oh, his power went out again. He's dead. No, I'm here. There it is. I said, I said right. Oh, I didn't hear that at all. I didn't hear any of it. The bog is knocking his power out again. I am the bog <laughs> Hello, yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Possible. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. Oh, I My daughter noise. hasn't been able to stop coughing. Please hold. You sure this is the attic gnome? Yeah, because the dust. Remember when they're scared? They put dust in and it affects the, the air quality. Oh, that's fair. And they also reported knocking a rapping sound coming from their ceiling. That's yeah, pretty Textbook easy. Textbook attic gnome. Uh, clean your attics regularly to avoid giving it. So just clean your fucking house. Yeah. So helpful. Or get a or get a get a hob. 
A hob and a gnome? Perfect. True. Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's oh, he's dead. Such a sweet oh, heart. he's so dead. So this is the artifact. Please, please False artifact, because it talks about a buzzing sound. That's why he's afraid of bees. Oh, that makes sense. Let's go double check just to be sure, but... Yeah, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's false artifact. And uh, they're known for gentle buzzing sounds that usually can only be heard by very young humans. So, yeah, uh, so he's, he's gone. He's I, being digested. He's been... For dying. the next several years. It's kind of well, lack, you well, can't just like break it open. Starvation, it, it will kill him before the several years. Is, so he's only, you know, going for what? Two weeks, yeah. three weeks? Well, it literally says, should a pet or a loved one already be in case, one can utilize a memory with to speed up the grieving process. Yes. I mean, there's no way to get them out. Yeah, yeah, we, we should give uh, her. Wait, wait, could we not feed small animals to the uh, object for the other thing in the object to eat, so that he doesn't starve to death. Yes, oh, but wow. then he is still yeah. stuck inside the artifact, being digested. That's fair. That that's fair. So it doesn't really help for this. No, no. Once it gets yeah. you, you're dead. Rip, Jeremy. Hopefully, it's uh, mildly oh. comfortable starving to death. I think I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Cheese. Cheese. How old is uh, wasn't there a basement gnome or something like that? Uh, one second, I just want to check with you. To lose a slice of any kind of cheese each night before going to bed, so it's a fractured hob. The previous yeah, house yeah. owners were feeding the, the fracture hob. Oh, no, but they, they thought it was a fracture hob. But wouldn't he eat the cheese? Well, like, they left out a slice, but he said he found bits of cheese. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I, th I think you're right. Because it's the only one in this long list that mentioned cheese, and my fat ass locked onto that piece of info. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but if you're wrong, I, I'm, I'm throwing back all of the blame you put if, on me. If you're wrong, I will go to the store, buy a brick of cheese, and just no, sit here eating it. No! No, you bastard! <laughs> oh, I, 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 I fixed it! I fixed it! I fixed it! Where is it? Fracture hob, submit. Woo! Oh, holy shit, dude. <laughs> the genuine look, brain. Look, look, look. <laughs> we know reading isn't my strong suit. <laughs> Dub rubber, that sounds very weird. I'd like orange drink. Oh, I thought you were gonna say I want to get my gub rubbed. Uh, no, I'd like my rubbed gubbed though. Oh, that's a sick beat. Aww. The pepper squeeze, 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 squeeze. Drop that beat, bro. Drop that sick nasty beat. The pepper squeeze, 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 squeeze. 
Uh, it's good that I don't make music. I'd be an absolute failure because I don't make music. Yeah, you ain't wrong. I ain't wrong because I don't make music. Are you ever gonna call, I motherfucker? Kind of, I kind of wish we didn't have these gaps between calls, you know? Yeah, I wish it was like a cue that I could just call whenever I'm ready. I might. Here goes something, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches, and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. Oh, I know what I'm this is. I'm out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. Yeah, fey fever, maybe? It's, I'm pretty sure it's fey fever. Oh. So we go to fey flu. Of Shit. course. Well, we just gotta go for it. It's the only like real sickness we have that would that have specifically affected the eyes. So, fuck it. Yeah. As long as we keep our job, we're okay. Yeah, yeah. As long as we don't get fired. As um, uh, we shouldn't. But we will. I oh. want that coupon. Oh yeah, I want the, the coupons. Will be it. Oh shit, that's a lot that aren't available. All of them! Oh, nice! So I hope you got a good memory, Nate, because I don't fucking know. Um. No. Stupid network. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! You, uh, you gotta tell me. Giant friggin' holes. What? Hey, they're back! Yes, what do you think would cause giant friggin' holes? Okay, um... Uh... Frick, I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Tra was it the travel gnome? Uh, expansive gardens in their homes leaving soil plants. No, it's not that one. It's not holes. No, 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 no. Definitely not. No, no, no. No. Seedling? No, that's no, the aphid thing. Seedling. Not a raccoon, but that is cute. Not a... Uh, no, not owned by Valve. No. Could, it, could, it could actually be termites. You think... Time termites are making giant friggin' holes that, that are termites. so deep that he can't see down. Yeah, big termites. Uh, I don't think that's right. Uh, probably not. Uh, bros, commonly damaged gardens. He did say that his pet is not missing too, right? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Cellar growth, damp front of cellars, commonly reported slender. No, that's definitely not it. Uh, yeah, I have no fucking clue. I gotta tell you, man, go check termites again. The termites. Uh, peeling paint, small holes in the drywall or squeaky floorboards. Not giant friggin' holes you can't see the end of. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, go to, um... Uh... The... The, the unicorn fungi. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Uproot plants. That makes sense. That... I think you're right, the Kevin. The hole goes so far down that he can't see it. They're trying to get to the dirt. And his and dog's missing. Good catch on this one. Yeah, I think you are 100% correct. 
Unicorn fungi. Cryotherapy or surgically removed. Oof. If they can find the dog. That's a good catch. I wasn't even thinking about that. That's the traveling gnome. Well, a hundred percent. Is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you buy a bad rug. Hundred percent. Travel gnome, travel gnome, travel, travel, travel gnome. But yeah, uh, note to everyone out there: don't buy bad rugs. You'll buy you'll yeah, get travel gnomes. Yep, yeah. bad rugs are bad. I do like some of the sounds. There's something there's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there too. I don't know what it might oh, be. Doing I think now, I have a idea. Yeah, I think it's a sour cavern or whatever. Please yeah. Send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Please hold. Cellar uh, grotto. Yeah, or or cellar growth, I guess. I'm pretty sure grotto. Grotto. Uh, sh off report bad smell coming from the basement and higher humidity. Definitely. Yeah, hundred percent. Cellar grotto. Cellar Grotto. You have a giant grotto and you need to give it gold. You have to give gold to the man who created the grotto where you have to find you have you literally have to go spelunking. Hey, a hundred percent accuracy. We are smart as fuck. We are. Kevin coming in clutch with that unicorn. I would never have thought of that. No, I I was gonna be like, nah, it's just massive termites. It's just termites. <laughs> My but brain was going to go for over here. Look at those wrinkles. Oh no, I'm gonna have to scrub them clean. Man, I wish they would get rid of some of the shit off my desktop. Take they an SOS. Would. Bed it was a it. lie. Oh wait, no, the hole's not safe anymore. Oh, what is that? The hole is not. The hole is breached. And repeat, the hole is breached. Is it safe here? I must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. Regarding your sh schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we will need you to come into work Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured, you additional laborers will be recognized. No, they we won't. We better get extra coupons. Unless that shit is in writing or you're getting money for it, it's never recognized. This is bullshit. Don't trust companies when they say this. Especially not ones who are like this. Congratulations, employee! Your high accuracy rate has rewarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for Tamed River Root. Plucked and tamed straight from the western waters with the undersoil, this river root is as reliable as they come. Their gentle, high frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all manner of pests and predators. Just don't forget to keep them well watered and well monitored. To receive your discount, simply type in the following code online checkout. Rootin' for you. Keep up the great work, employee. Those puns! <sighs> rootin' for you. Oh, I'm rootin' for you, alright. Rootin' tootin' and I'm putin'. Oh, I'm 
home safety hotline. We don't actually no. help. Well, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I am employee of the month. Yeah, we're the only employee. So uh, that's beside the point. Just like Kevin's the employee of the month every month. Right, Kevin? Please, no. But you, you're on the employee. You are the employee of the month. What does our supervisor Carol have to say to us today? Hello. Supervisor Carol here. Thine accuracy. Thine accuracy. To those above, above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Uh. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. Okay, so I if she's not Eldritch, she worships them. Something like that, yeah, for sure. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. The dead yeah, I'll, can't I'll be impressed by anything. Upon thee. Animation! <coughs> Let's just wait for the first call to come in, and then I'll start reading, because it's going to interrupt me. Yeah. Also, no, mate, no, no, I, no, we're not reading that one. I don't want to hear about that one. Well, you're gonna I don't hear want about... to think about the chance of that one. <laughs> you're gonna. <laughs> Okay, look, the satanic panic was over in the 80s, lady. Yeah, we'll deal with you in a bit. <clears throat> also, Nate, I'm just going to throw this out there. I hate you. Yesterday... All stream, I'm talking, making voices, destroying my throat. Today, all stream, I'm just reading endless amount of text. My throat is dying. <laughs> oh, Animations are fun. any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own, like the one in your house right now, Nate. No, no, no. Homeowners no, with animations no. most commonly hearing clattering noises at night and missing or stolen household objects. Anything been moved, Nate? Anything you can't seem to find? Shut up. Do you hear the creaking and the clattering with you? Shut up! Animations are usually not directly dangerous to humans and will ignore them entirely as they go about their business, but their presence in a household may indicate the interest of other potentially dangerous parties. Most animations will depart or collapse on their own after completing their intended functions, and no further action is needed. Alright, Nate. If it persists for more than a few days, don't forget to call in. It hasn't moved. It's fine. That you uh, know, but its hands are definitely in a different position. Closet labyrinths are large, twisting networks of tunnels that are known to occasionally appear inside the closets or wardrobes of wealthy homeowners or left behind in homes that were once owned by wealthy homeowners. With closet labyrinths off... Blah, 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 blah. Homeowners with closet labyrinths often report missing clothes or the sounds of distant cries coming from their closet. Yeah, other people that are lost inside the labyrinth. Closet labyrinths are incredibly easy to get lost in by design and can prove especially hazardous to homeowners carrying valuable items such as gold, precious silk, or rare spices on their person. They are otherwise oh, no, harmless. Human. Uh, they are otherwise harmless to those who do not enter their domain. I can't carry around my expensive cumin? Yes. The dream. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> well, there's uh, literally one in your house. You dream about spider webs all the time. I, I Trust me, the spider dreams are more than just webs. They're, they're horrible. I, I'm not talking about it. Dreamweavers are large, spider-like creatures known to weave dreams into reality. They are also known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. They will only move into a household if no other spiders are present. 
So you better let some spiders into your house, buddy. I already have one in my house. I can't fucking kill it. It's it's hiding behind my fridge. Dreamweavers are parasitic in nature and feed off the dreams of humans while they sleep. While this does not cause direct harm to humans, it can lead to increased anxiety, and the large webs they weave can often trap dust, pets, and children, causing further complications. Children are just, like, dead in half of these. Yeah, children uh, don't do well here. Let's look at the false flower. False flowers are long, slender creatures that vaguely resemble common houseplants. They are known to take root indoor po in indoor potted plants, disguising themselves amongst the flowers. Yeah. Homeowners often report hearing faint singing. False flowers are harmless if left to their own devices. However, if homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, they will lash out by spraying toxic chemicals known to, known to cause blindness or loss of sight. Okay, then. Kobolds! Kobolds! <clears throat> Kobolds are five-foot-tall humanoid creatures with dog-like faces that are known to burrow into dark rooms or storage closets and make them their home. Homeowners infested with kobolds will sometimes report broken floorboards. Danger! Kobolds are harmless to humans until they are discovered, at which point they will often latch out, lash out violently to protect their home, causing injury or even death. If discovered, kobolds will attempt to lure humans into their space by poking their dog-like heads out behind corners and whimpering. Do not ever enter a kobold's domain. Fair and not. Ooh, a rain nymph. Oh, so this is obviously a sprig tree. I'm just guessing by the name. We'll, we'll deal with that in a bit. Rain nymphs are a subspecies of nymph that are most active during rainstorms. They are faint humanoids with glow in their eyes that appear near windows. Asking to be let inside, homeowners afflicted with rain nymphs often report flooding. The flooding rain nymphs can lead to water damage, which can be costly and dangerous to a home. Uh, just don't let them inside. Yeah. A soap sprite. Soap sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They are frequently occupied bathrooms appearing in similar to pink bars of soap in order to feed off the hands of those of them that use them. They secrete sud-like substance that is used to digest their meals. Uh, so Soap sprites, despite their bacteria-eating lifestyle, are frequently known to spread de deadly diseases such as fla f such as fey flu to humans who handle them, making them a serious has household hazard. Don't worry, we're on Twitch. No one on here uses soap, so no one's in danger. I oh. Soap sprites are easy to remove. Just use tongs. The sprig tree. Oh, what the fuck? Spring trees are a rapidly growing tree-like organism that takes root in a human. They are known to cause structural damage to a home if they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Okay. Um, spring trees are incredibly deadly to those infected yep. and will result in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a spring tree while it's growing indoor location at risk of injury or damage as it grows. There is no cure. Infected individuals should be quarantined while any other should leave the premise of me. Do not touch the person or the black substance that leaks under any circumstance. So she's definitely a spring tree. Well, her kid's yeah, a spring so her tree. Kid is, her kid's dead. All yes. the kids are dying. Look, they don't call us when they're having a good day. They call us on a bad day, a.k.a. dead kid day. Sprig vines are rapidly growing vines that are known to quickly consume a house and block off all exits. This is the one that was making that house so cheap at the beginning. They are on often sight uh, that a spriggan has been provoked. Sprig vines are not dangerous on their own and can cut through with common gardening tools. However, their tendency to block exits creates struggles needing to exit the house in a hurry, such as floods, fires, or a spriggan in pursuit. A trash gnome. Hey, it's Grover. 
Grover are a subspecies of gnome with thick brownish gray f uh, fur, frog-like eyes, and a large gaping mouth. They are known to seek out trath trash receptacles and burrow inside them both for food and shelter. Homeowners with trash with Grovers often report the smell of rotten eggs, at finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tipped over garbage cans, and a loud crunching sound at night. Tr Grovers are highly to territorial once homed. While their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to an inconvenient, painful circumstances such as the loss of a finger or nose. While attempting to discard trash or remove trash bag from the receptacle, they are also capable of spreading deadly diseases to humans such as rabies or tetanus. Okay. That's all of them for this go-round. We know that her kid got turned into a uh, spriggan tree. Mm -hmm. All because of the BND. What you gonna do? All because of a mother who was super, so hateful against her child that he ran into the uh, that what shed to play his games. Um. Don't be intolerant. You save a life. Yeah, so her kid touched a spriggan. Their, their kid uh, pissed off a spriggan. Yeah. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Uh, it's it's the kitchen sprig. Not sprig. Kitchen hob. hob. Is there a kitchen hob? Ah, uh, where's K? Ah, uh, where's K? Uh, we passed it already. There is no kitchen hob. It could just be a house hob. I don't think so, though, because they only live in the living room. Attic, now in bed, but stupid little buggers. Common hob. Common hob species household. They're small human creatures. No face. Two stubbits. Found on floors. Cleaning in the process. They generally come out at night. Yeah, so they could be anywhere in the home. Maybe. Let's just scroll okay, down. Okay, we'll look at the rest. Yeah. Common well, hob does seem to be our best bet, though, at, at the moment. Yeah. We'll just go from the top. So it can't be animation, attic. It's not a bat or bed bugs. It's not bed teeth, bees, black mold, or buggers. It's not carbon monoxide. That's pretty basic. Car it's not ants. Yeah. It's not a grotto or growths or labyrinths or cockroaches. It's not a desk hob because it's a whole room. It's not a giant spider or fey feast. Uh, it's not the false artifact because it's not the buzzing. He's not hungry. It's not a flower or a bush or there's roots. Yeah, can't be... No pipes or what, gophers. What do, what do kobolds do again? They're, they're dogs. Uh, they burrow into dark rooms or storage closets, oh, so yeah, can't be cobbled. Bad. It's not a no, like, They also keep it clean too, right? That's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's not I, even... I think I think you're right. I think it's just a common hob. I, I think it's just the, the, the thing that's messing me up with it is the whole like you. I called about this before and it hasn't been fixed. Which, if we look at the common hob, where where is it? My brain. It's underneath it's cockroaches. There it is. Birds from the bottom. Um, Hobbs cannot be compelled to leave once in the homes to take measures for him. So yeah, just he, He's angry that it's still there because you can't get it to leave. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think you're correct then. Yeah, De definitely common hob. Hob and cob. Hob and cob. The hob and cob. I'd like a hob and cob. I feel like tomorrow we're gonna get Spriggan. It's gonna oh. be one of the last ones to be unlocked. Likely. 
I'm curious what this one is. Answer the call. False flower. It's the uh, false flower, cause uh, sh uh, they're known to take root in potted plants, and they sing. Uh, I think you're probably right, but there was also another one that was singing. Oh, wasn't there? The fungus, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the whistling. That's whistling. Yeah, that uh, would... you're right. I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm almost certain you're correct. Yeah, it's the only one that really mentions singing. Yeah. I should say the false flower. Oh, my spine wants to be snapped in half. How many uh -oh. more of these do you, we get? You ate a false beat. Uh, there's two days left. Yeah, we're not doing all the days tonight, I don't think. At best, we've got uh, one more night. Yeah, we might get one more night. Hey, Flipper here. I've got two dumbbells that I bought from you that be a good spit shine. Know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. No, I don't. Yeah, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing uh, spit, crud, juice. Uh, hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. Well, he's dead. I guess we're not getting any more of those anymore. Oh, we'll get more. The guy that was nah, dead. Nah, he dead. No, the guy that came in to say hello was dead. The weird voice guy, he's still alive. He's the one who killed the other guy. No, Murder. the guy who was making the prank calls has got one who got killed. No, 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 the, the prank caller just murdered. Yeah. Nah. No, definitely. So the guy was like, why, like, who are you, why are you here? And then he started Whoa, making weird down. noises. Hello, Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller. With See? See? Orders. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. See? Uh, she murdered him. I expect we'll still get the calls. Death. Uh, he dead. No, 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 no. Probably fed him to a bush. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe a sprig tree. Yeah, maybe a sprig tree. Maybe she's a spriggin. Oh no. Possible. That's a weird sound. Yeah, I think that means that we lose our connection. My house, and I think it may have died. I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but. Okay. Uh, maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent through the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Oh. Oh. It's the the lamp the lamp wisp. Because it's burning so hot. It's yeah, it's burning something. Please. Oh. Yeah, it's the lamp wisp. Let's just go take a look. Oh. Bitch. I, I, we, they're all down. So I, I think lamp whisk because of the burning smell. Well, as I have literally no better idea, I'm going to go with you. Kevin, do you have a, an idea? Nope. Lamp was, uh, as good as or what we were going to get. Yeah. 
I mean, we can check afterwards to see if I was right. We're gonna um, find out. Yeah. Well, after the next call. It doesn't restart until after the next person calls. Yeah, but I like the buzz. Because that's... Ah, finally. So it wrapped its awful tendrils. So, uh, let's just look at the lamps right real quick. They're known for causing flicker and sometimes burning. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, for his, I believe it's the, the floor roots? Yeah, but it just wraps around things. It doesn't drag them down. I think that's a sprig vine. First, let's look at the floor roots, and then we'll look at the, uh, the sprig vine. So, very awake humans and strangling pets while they're asleep. Floor roots require something to wrap around before they see throw, so it survives to acquire dollars. Oh, you're right, it doesn't move, it just wraps around them and stops. Yeah, so I think it's a sprig vine. So let's read that one again. Sprig vines? Uh, they don't uh, consume uh, a house. No, it's not. Definitely not. Um, what would wrap up a, a human and pull it away? Uh, what about Ra awful tendrils? Awful tendrils. What about? Ha! Huh. Awful tendrils saw it with my own eyes. And took her down with her. What is cellar growths? Cellar growths are a large species of fungi known to grow in the dark, damp environments. Blah, blah, blah. Can commonly grow on ceilings. Their weight can often distress a human's foundation, and so they need to be removed. So, no, they're just heavy. Ah. And labyrinth doesn't pull you in. You have to walk in. It's not one of the fays. Uh, does this what say about the Dreamweaver? Does it grab things? No, it's it doesn't, right? No, it doesn't. Dream parasitic. They just deal with you in your sleep. Wait, False. no, it does say ensnaring things. Okay, we we'll go back. No, to be dream reality, they're also known for nearby covering webs. Dreams with this does not co does not cause direct harm to humans. Increase to anxiety. That's that's not tendrils. Uh, if we look at the false rose bush, uh, plant like creature, and two human feet, danger consists of small mammals. Hmm. Ah, well. Keep going down for a second. I don't see what other ones, but I think it might actually just have to be floor roots. I don't understand how it could be, but. This is the house spider. Don't cool ball. No, no, no. No. No, and no. Uh, no. Oh. No. 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 So it's inside the house, so I can't see it being a seedling. Yeah. No, and the seedlings don't get bigger, they just make you kill each other. Poor, it's not the valve tech. It's not a raccoon or a rain nymph. Seedling soap sprite. She didn't turn into a tree. No, no, no. No. What's wood secretions again? It's just it's goop that comes out of the wood. A sticky pooling buildup. So definitely not. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is the floor roots. But she wouldn't be gone. Let's just replay. Around her and took her down with it. 
arrested. I saw it with my own eyes. Please, send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. It's still their grotto. Uh, no, it's not it. Hmm, I don't know. I'm really confused by this. Can you scroll this. through them again one more time? Okay, so we'll start from the top. It yeah. is not an animation. Nor an well, it's definitely film. not attic. It's not bad. It's not bed bugs. It's not bad teeth. It's not bees. It's not black mold. What does Boggart say? I don't think it's a Boggart. But... Uh, humans between six, seven feet tall with fairly convincing faces. So it looks like a person. Yeah. Okay. So it's not that. It's not carbon. Oh wait. Do you know carbon dioxide? Does it cause hallucinations? Uh, CO2 poison gas, fossil fuel burn, CO2 headaches, dizziness, no. and lethargy. Nope. 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 No. Not no. What about closet labyrinth? Does something come out of the labyrinth? No, you have to. You have to go into it, right? Yeah. Uh, just don't enter it. Yeah. Okay. No, so it's not that. It's not cockroaches. It's not Hobbs. It's not Dreamweaver. It's not Faith Beast. It's not Faith Flu. Not false feet. It's not false flower. It, Let's read uh, floor roots again. Yeah, it's not fracture hung It's not frozen pipes. It's not gopher. It's not floor roots of... are tree-like brown roots that grow up and wrap themselves around, but they're slow growing. Um, floor roots wrap around something; they will cease their growth. So it is advised to acquire dolls or human-shaped place dolls in room and look for that film. By morning, dolls and roots should be. Oh, dolls and roots should be gone. So it does pull them away. Okay, so I, yeah, I think it has to be floor roots. It has to be. Yeah. yeah. The fact we've watched it happen is kind of weird. Because it said it stops when it's being watched, right? Yeah, it's a weird one. I don't know what else it could be, so. Yeah. If we don't get our coupon, I'm sorry. Well. Even though it's not my fault this time. Oh, this, on this one, I, I have no fucking clue. Like, it's completely... Nothing else seems remotely fine, but that one has some questionable nature to it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know this one. Yeah, the mirror thing. The mirror nymph? Yep. Yeah. Please, it's a number. What? Like, she is clearly panicking. How did she have the presence of mind to look up and dial this number? Speed dial? I sure. Everyone on the planet just has this. Like every every phone has this number as speed dial option. Yes. Yeah, apparently. I kind of like this game, I'm not going to lie. It's it's an interesting game. A weird one. Yeah, it's a fun idea. It's fun. It, it's not spooky enough for me, though. Not really any replayability. I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, ah, metal the horde. Stuff, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So, I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Karen. Yeah, you're oh. real stuck up. So uh, you think it's the horde? The horde? 100%. Uh, collections, collects and store large quantities of common household refuge. Uh, it's pretty rotten food. Use syringes, rusty metal. Yep, okay. Yep, it's the horde. Also, I I have some sad news. I ate the last sausage. It was delicious. I knew you would. And now you will never have yeah. that experience again. No. It will live in your memory as an untouchable experience. You will never I find the same brand. Wisp. Where's the memory wisp? <laughs> eat my memory of that sausage. You will never find it, because even if you do find it one day, it will never live up to your memory. Nathaniel and his love of sausages. Yeah. He's a meat eater. 
That's for sure. A very old animated. Yeah, I want that meat in my mouth. Security camera I can purchase from you guys. For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Oh, so I know this one. Flashing these bright lights through our windows at night. Yeah, like the night whisper or whatever. Yep. It. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Please. Put on oh. hold, and it's the... Oh, you wish it was a stupid teen. Night Wisp! Yeah, so it's basically floating lights known to hover outside windows whispering promises. You're a Night Wisp! These last couple ones have been d decently easy after that brutal one, thankfully. Well, we think, and then we find out we get like 20% today. Well, one way or another, we're, we're done for the night after this uh, day, so... Yeah, there's only two days left, and I feel like, um, from the reviews, it's only about a two-hour experience, so I don't think we have that much time left in the game after that, so if we want to have anything left for later. I don't really care about that, I just know that bedtime's coming and people got work in the morning. Well, just me. I, I also have work in the morning. Yeah, but no one cares about you. Fuck you. Sounds like portal. I think, I think you think it's Valve's right. property? The wind feels I think so it's nice. a portal, not portal TM. Please hold. So you think it's Val's proper where is Val's property? Why are you going up Alphabet Boy? Alphabet. I don't know my ABCs. Uh most commonly in basements, however, Val's property or Report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. So it definitely seems like it's Valve's property. Yeah. Let's send her to Valve. Make them fix it. Good luck with that. Tell us um, how uh, Valve's property 3 is. They fear the number 3. Yeah, they do. They're, they're smart enough not to do the number three. They would never live up to it. Nothing they could ever do will live up to it. This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Squid? But I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its, like, uh, little tentacles or, like, tendrils. Okay, so this is a more interesting one. A squid or something in the bathroom. So, so either the toilet hob or the sink hob. Could also be the soap thing. Maybe? Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, oh, where's the soap? Soap, 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 soap. Soap Sprite. Cause yeah, it's got like tendrils like a squid. Uh, the disease for the blah blah blah. Easy to remove, identifying soap sprites can be difficult. It's recommended to keep a body bars. So, something like a squid or something. Like, I went to the bathroom in the middle of the night and. You can see it under, near the sink. So, it could be the soap sprite. Uh, where Let's is. Let's check out the uh, sink sprite or. The pipe hob. Uh, just, in tube-like structures of pipes, they bear no false face and are much smaller than most hobs and will commonly emerge from their homes to consume dirt cleaning the area. Uh, j -j -j -j. I don't see this as squid-like, though. No. What about pipe growth? Uh, tube-like structures growth and have its pipe. They're filled to clean the pipe and remove them. Uh, they, so they don't leave, so it can't be them. No. And, and what about the toilet? toilet hob? Where the fuck is T? This is great hold music, by the way. Uh, 
Stars, Baby Bear Falls Faces have two separate clumps of wispy hair on their heads. Okay, so that could be it. They tend to clean their homes at night, keeping the toilet nearby and have it spotless. Uh, plumbing in times like leaks or clogs. So, it could be the wispy hair it's talking about. Delivering. Uh, I'm thinking but it that said it was the underneath the sink, right? Yeah. Go back to the soap sprite again. No one in harmful America talked to the bathrooms up here. Some of the pink bars of soap. Do you suggest yes? Despite their back to you. The only reason I'm, I think it, it's, it's because in the picture itself, it's got tentacles like a, squ like a squid. Yeah. And I can't think of anything else that sounds like that with the tentacles. Do we just go with ten with the soap sprite and hope? Yeah. yeah, I think we just hope. All right, we got some hope with this soap. All right, so that's hard. That's, that is that is a hard one. Good job. Maybe could be a bad job. Hey, a hundred percent accurate. It was a soap spray. Look at that. I'm a beast. Our shift has ended. All right, let us read the uh, e pardon me the emails before we call it for tonight. We oh, well, actually, watch it. Game, man. We're so no. close. No, that's not happening. We have two more days. Yeah. We're going to watch this video. We're going to read the uh, email, and that's it. Great American hikes. But do we even know if the game saves? Pikachu, use Thunderbolt. <laughs> Pikachu, use Thunderpeak. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. That's when a Thunder type Pokemon is spying on you. In this guide, we'll show you how you can best prepare for one of nature's most beautiful trails. That looks familiar. Supplies! As with any hiking trail, you'll want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help meet the demanding physical trials ahead. Make sure to bring hiking boots. Water bottle. Iron sword. Yeah, alright. Sounds about right. Climbing gloves! I mean, Faye don't like iron. If you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides <laughs> before embarking. Yo, dude, I couldn't get my hands on climbing gloves. I've got everything else. The trail. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave. And finally, a short climb up to its pristine peak. Pace yourself as you progress. This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Be sure to stop and read all the info signs littered along the trail. When you see a red and yellow lines, it means you're in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. The 
They're being quiet kind of makes sense. The Enter the cave. Huh? This isn't sus or anything. It is massively sus. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Follow the lights. Do not stray. I thought this was supposed to be a nice relaxing hike. I, I'm not relaxed. If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. That means get your dick out. No, they said sword, not Skyward Sword. Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. You made it! Now enjoy the view! He's getting pushed off. Dead. Hello, if you are receiving this email, it's because you have been emailed by this ad address before. The employee this address is registered to is no longer employed at Home Safety Hotline as of 4-30-1996. This address will be shut down and no longer able to send or receive emails. If you need support from HS HSH, please email us at support at hsh.mail. Well, he's dead. Oh, no. Congratulations, Dave. employee! Your high accuracy rate has been has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's oh, daily coupon is for Hag Hide, sourced cruelty free from the perished and treated with our flower scented formula. These are the best quality Hag Hides you'll find. This month only, we'll even throw in an iron wall mount for free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed safe. Heaven should it be. Sleep easier, sleep safer. To receive your discount, simply tap the following code online checkout. Haglin for deals. Keep up the great work. Also, Will, you, you fumbled that so bad at the Look, end. Look, I've been doing this for, what, for, so, for so long at this point. Are you going to buy someone's skin? Uh, yeah, Hag hide. We, come on, man. We should just finish it. We got this. No. Yeah. No, you're not. I, uh, I'm having a good time. I, it's, we're having a good time, but we will continue this next week. It is, we've been going for a while now. We got two nights wow. left, and, the, and everything's building up. So uh, I will <laughs> see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. 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 Watch out for